and welcome to Through to Stable Doors as we take you into the homes of Yorkshire's finest to celebrate the Go Racing in Yorkshire Summer Festival in association with Skybet. Without further ado, we should meet our special panel. That is Megan Nichols and Martin Dwyer. How are we guys? Good, thanks. All, All good. good. Really, Pens and paper at the ready. Really excited. Never been on a quiz show before. <laughs> Friday Club, no? Not one no, as glamorous that, as this. That's different. And we've all, <laughs> it is glamorous, isn't it? We've also got in the corner our clapometer. That's a, that's, that's a very strong clap. You've been working on it, Shinnis? Yep, different versions for different days. This is because we couldn't afford a live studio audience, of course. So you will let our panel know how they are doing by how strongly you clap. How strong the clap is. Clap corner, you're all over it. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> Without further ado, it's time to see our first Yorkshire home as we go through to Stable Door. So first impressions are nice enough garden, but the house lacks a little bit of size, I would say. It wouldn't be the biggest. Perhaps we're thinking of an individual who isn't the biggest, him or herself. Judging by the size of this, you'd say they got a nice slide down there. So obviously somebody likes a bit of fun. Shinners, are you in there? You are. What do you think? Pokey, mate. Yeah. It's pokey. It's it's all right. I like the colour. Yes. Uh, mauve. Some of a bit of the flamboyant side, maybe. Yeah. So maybe a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a clue with the colours, but it, it's a nice view. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But uh, oh, hang on a minute, mate. I think I might be in the wrong house. Can't you shinners? No, no problem. First impressions, whoa, quite the kitchen, big garden, impressive kitchen. You, you shut up. <laughs> I know, I don't know why that's there, to be honest. What, what, what you, what's your first impression? Um, struggling. Yeah. Um, <sighs> just struggling. Yeah, tough. Everything's a, a struggle. Tell you know what, behind you, mum's wine, that's a cellar down there. Should we go take a look? I'm first. We'll take a look for now. Back to the studio for some first impressions. So first impressions, guys. You, you might see we, we got the wrong house initially, didn't we? It was a, a kid's playhouse. The actual place itself, what do we think, first up? Well, I think I'm going to be good at this. I reckon you got kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's very smart, tidy. There's obviously, yeah. Well, there's obviously a good woman in the house. Yeah, I'm liking all of that. I'm like, it's a good start, solid start. Let's get some more clues as we go back through. Whoa, why no clock? Well, I like this. Lovely. Lots of bottles. Mm. I don't miss much. No. But clearly, bottles mean winners, don't they? Successful, yeah. Look Which one's this that one? Oh, here we go. Beautiful. The Go Racing Yorkshire Summer Festival 2018. Hopefully there'll be a few more of them for this person. Yorkshire winners, Edinburgh Gin as well. Lots of bottles of Edinburgh Gin. Yeah. Bit of muscle yeah. burn. Perhaps. Quite possibly. Uh, another one there. Uh, yeah. Another bottle of Champers. Clearly, clearly, I think, do we think training or riding? That is not for us to say. Mm. But whatever, plenty of winners, one way or another. Mm. Upstairs? Why not? Well, this will be the office, Shinners. Yep. Where the leader sits. This is where the magic happens. Lots of, lots of success. A royal winner commemorated on the wall as well. Yeah. Fair few trophies. Yeah, a bit of more royal winners here. Clearly, um, clearly going well. Football shirt, don't like that, in the corner. Yeah. Oh, there's a... A clue in one of the pictures as well. Yeah. Stool everywhere, everywhere though. Everywhere stool. Everywhere needs to get a little bit more height into their life. Mm. Somebody that likes a gadget or two shinners, because this, Bob the, the lawnmower, does it all himself. This is amazing. Yeah. Maybe somebody that lacks a bit of time to do all the... Busy. Bit very busy. A busy person. But can can get something like that. That's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Fantastic, yeah. Somebody who does everything that you want it to do. My ideal 
lawnmower. It's unbelievable. Up to the uh, top of the house, shedders. Yep. Proper climb, that, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Dressing room area. Oh. By the looks of things. Lovely. What's going on there? It's ribs on a chest of drawers. It's a nice chest of drawers. It is, and nice ribs. Yeah. Interesting. Bedroom? Mm hmm. No. <laughs> See, we're dancing there. And into the master bedroom. Beautifully. Is, the, is this where the magic happens? This Tom? is, I would imagine so. Look yep. at that. Lovely. It's, isn't it? I'm getting, it's very tidy. Yeah. There's definitely a female touch in it. The I way it's so. done, it's set yeah. out beautifully. Family yeah. environment, lots of big tellies everywhere. Yeah, we've got the stool still, Again. which suggests I don't know what that means. Oh, we've got a nice, obviously, obviously going, going somewhere, somewhere. Nice black trousers. Oh, the not the biggest pair of trousers I've ever seen in my life. Look at them. Uh, no, they they no, wouldn't fit you, Shinners. No, I don't think they would. To be honest, they wouldn't fit you. But For a, sh a short chap, I'd say. What a lovely house. Beautiful house. Beautiful, lovely house. And the big question is, back in the studio, who would live in a house like this? And I can confirm they were indeed genuine trousers for said individual. Genuine, weren't they? Yes, genuine. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do we think, going back on, on some of the clues? Well, with the trousers and the stool, I'm wondering, has Jimmy Quinn moved to Yorkshire? <laughs> <laughs> That's my first instinct, but... I don't think he has. Is he still a new marker? As far as I'm aware, but it sort of shows they're probably on the shorter side. I like so I don't know whether that means jockey or... It can't be a jockey. Jockeys don't make enough money to live in a house like that. No, it's a nice true. house, isn't it? With it's a, a nice house. Pool and... What was the lawnmower all about? Well, the lawnmower is fascinating. Bob does 80 hours a week, just does it all himself. <laughs> Where's he put the grass? I, you no, know, he just leaves it there, just knocking around, and the wind takes it away. Yeah. The wind it's a very takes light it trim. Away. Well, there must be strong winds where he lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and a lot of success we saw. A we saw a trophies. globe as well. We saw a, we saw a globe with um, a place highlighted on it as well. Definitely a trainer. Mate. In a sand yeah. pit. Definitely a trainer. Royal winners. We're seeing a few little clues. Are we, are we getting warm? The ribs on the chest of drawers, rib chester. I like that. Great clapping. Great clapping. The, what do we think? The globe was Marley, Sands of Marley, so it's kind of going one oh, way. Got to be. Mr. Fahey. Richard Fahey. The thing is, Richard Fahey. Let's take a look who it was. There he is, Richard Fahey, who enjoyed Shinners and I going around his house just as much as he enjoyed <laughs> waving. He nearly slipped into something else with that wave, didn't he? <laughs> nearly. Just got a little bit loose fingered at that stage. What a house he lives in. Tell you what. Beautiful. No wonder he never goes racing. <laughs> Absolute cracker of a house. Uh, that was uh, Richard Farhey's quite beautiful house. Thank you to our panel. Thank you to our clapometer. We'll see you again tomorrow for a bit more through to Stable Door. <laughs>